G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, in my last video, I showed you how you can regrind, reprofile the the end of a dead center uh, on a lathe using a cheap little um, ed eye grinder, a pencil ed eye grinder, and it does a good job. Anyway, uh, I also touched on the fact that you can use the same method to reprofile. Um, drills and uh, I got quite a few comments back saying well you know uh, sharpening drills is a bit of a problem and uh, how do you do the back relief because I did mention well you know once you've shaped the actual angle got the 120 degree angle on the end of it then the only thing left to do is just grind the back relief and that's not terribly difficult um, and a few people said oh you know can you do a video on that show us how you grind the back relief so I'm going to touch on the subject of drills today and uh, I know there's a lot of videos on the internet about sharpening drills. I haven't looked at any of them. I don't know what they what they put up. I'll do my version. I don't normally do videos on things that other people touch on. I try and keep it different. Um, but I will do one on drills just to give you a bit of an overview on what the problem is and how to get around it. Well, here we have a, a, a rough drawing of a new drill. Both the flutes are equal length. The angle is 120 degrees. It's nice and sharp and it cuts. And then, of course, they use it. And over time, it gets blunt. So people then try and resharpen it. They do it by hand. That's the only way they can do it, most of them. And the natural thing when you re by hand is people don't want to destroy the tip. So they tend to sort of grind like this. And then it gets blunt again and they grind like this again. So you finish up with this <laughs> very pointy drill which is basically on the same angle as the flutes. And of course that won't drill very well at all. And uh, you have to restore it back to your 120 degrees or thereabouts to uh, get it to drill. So then they go, oh look, you know, it won't drill. Um, I'll have to get brutal here and I'll have to grind back the angle like that so you lose all that drill and then oh look hang on this flute's too far I'll have to do this one again oh hell I've gone too far again so I'll do this again but it's still not right more drill gone so that's what happens and eventually the, the whole drill's buggered and it wouldn't cut anything anyway the way they've done it so what are you going to do well you have to obviously restore the 120 degree uh, angle you have to get it symmetrical on the end so that both flutes are all the same length and then once you've done that well then you can do your back relief now there's a few gadgets on the market that you can buy that help you along your way <laughs> supposedly i've got a couple i'll show you that uh, i inherited and uh, we'll just look at them and uh, i'll show you what they're uh, what they're like So, jig number one. This is a thing that goes on the electric drill. Slips on. It's driven. It's driven by the, the drill chuck, which presses up against the, the back of this thing. I inherited this one from an uncle of mine who passed away, and it was unused pretty much when I got it. Basically, because it's absolutely useless. Um, I've tried to use this thing, and it's absolutely useless. Um, so don't waste your money on something like this. These do not work, not from my experience. The grinding is so slow you would be there till Christmas in, in sort of like June to sharpen one drill. It is dreadful. And uh, once again, um, it looks good, but no good whatsoever. So what else? Well, here's a, a drill grinding attachment. All very technical. Looks pretty good. And you mount these alongside of the or grindstone. Your disc would be here. The drill lays in it, and it comes up against the side of the grindstone, and it it sharpens the facet. Uh, both facets on the drill. It's got a set, so you can set the, the length of the drill. And theoretically, it should do a job where both flutes are the same length, and it shouldn't be too bad. 
This is one my father bought years ago to try, and really, um, they're not all that great. The problem is that you put the drill in, and then you've got to sort of try and turn it, and it's floating around. Once again, at best I'd give that a 7 out of 10. They do work, but not fantastic. And at the end of the day, you still have to uh, put your back relief on, but at least you do get the, you do get the flutes uh, even, um, but they're very fiddly to use, and I wouldn't rate that very highly. So, the best way that I've found to do it is just do it in, the, in a lathe. If you've got a metal lathe, you can just put it in there and uh, put the drill in there, set your compound to uh, the right angle to do the job, that'll be 60 degrees, and grind it the same way as I showed in that video, the previous video, uh, using a, a little die grinder of some sort, or if you're lucky, and you've got a full-size um, tool post grinder, which I do have, um, that will do it in a matter of seconds. The little, uh, the little air die grinder will be slow, but it will do a perfect job, and uh, it will get you there, you know. Certainly it will be faster than using these things. <laughs> Anything will be faster than using this thing. So there you go. I'll grind a, a couple of drills, and the bigger ones, and I'll show you how to, to uh, do the back relief. So I'll, I'll reprofile them so the flutes are the same length. It's all symmetrical at the right angle. And then I'll show you how to grind the back relief, which is really um, very simple. So it's a two, basically a, a two-stage operation. Get the flute angle right, get that all symmetrical, and then once you've done that, then you can grind the back relief, because if these aren't, flutes aren't symmetrical, the drill won't drill straight, and it won't drill the right size hole because it'll be pulling one way and uh, pulling off centre. And, uh, well, you just won't get a, <clears throat> a good job out of it. OK, so I'll, I'll grind a couple of tips, and I'll come back and I'll show you how to do the back relief. For this experiment, we'll use these two drills out of my spare selection. If we look at these drills, I mean, they're all well-worn. Um, you can see on this one the flute's been ground at a wrong, wrong angle. That's been ground at a sharper angle than that. That's closer to what it should be. That's way off, so that's got to be totally reprofiled. This one has been ground, but um, it's got a curved face. Uh, it hasn't been ground correctly. It's on the wrong angle to the flute, flute face, so that's got to be reprofiled too. So both of those are prime candidates for for re reprofiling and uh, and then um, we do the um, <coughs> we do the back relief. I uh, finish up using the small pencil die die grinder to do, to do these two drills and uh, also I thought I'd just point out when you do this you don't actually have to lock down the carriage. What you can do is put the uh, pull down the uh, carriage uh, lock so that just puts a bit of damping force on its travel. And then you can just basically just apply very light pressure with the hand wheel and uh, just, you know, do a pass, just add a little bit more. I mean, it's so light that you can't use the increments on the scale. Um, you just have to basically do it by feel and just, just, just very lightly and very slowly run the, run the disc up and down the face of the, uh, the job while it's spinning. And, uh, and it does a good job. I use pretty much a full disc to do those two half inch drills and uh, well the disc was already probably a third worn but anyway you can see there's not much left of it now and uh, anyway I'll uh, take them out and we'll do the uh, back relief. Well I hope this comes up okay. Now imagine this paint tin bottom is your grindstone, the side of your grindstone. You always do this on the side of the grindstone which is nice and flat. I see people trying to sharpen st uh, drills on the, on the outside edge of the grindstone. Well, your grindstone has to be in perfectly true condition to do that, and most grindstones aren't, aren't in true condition, whereas the side is going to be a lot more uniform because it generally doesn't do much grinding. It's generally flat to, to begin with. So we're going to use the side of the, the, side of the, uh, the cutting stone. Now what we're going to do is when we when we do the grind, the important thing is that you keep the edge of the, of the flute 
parallel to the face of the to the face of the stone. So you're going to put the back part of the um, the flute on the stone. You're going to apply pressure while it's going. Apply pressure, and as you roll the drill around, you roll the drill around. You you, re, you diminish the amount of pressure that you're applying, so that when you get almost up to the edge of the, the cutting edge, uh, if you take that off and look, you'll see there'll be a grind coming through, uh, diminishing as it gets up towards the the cutting edge. It sounds. <laughs> It's hard to describe this, but basically that's how it goes. So you do your first pass, then you come in, you do another one, and once again you keep that cutting edge parallel to the face of the of the grindstone. You have to, of course, use a hand rest to do this. Um, so you're coming in like this again, and you make sure that as it comes in towards that final bit, it's it's nice and parallel. And after you've got the the grind sufficiently up towards the edge you just do your final one where it just comes up and just kisses the edge of the just kisses the edge of the of the uh, of the cutting edge like that now i mean grindstones all rotate this way ideally it's better if you do it on, on one that goes the other direction because you should always grind away from the cutting edge but grinders being what they are you just have to do it this way and uh but that's all there is to it. So you, you come in, do it, and work your way up towards the, the edge. Count the number of times you do it, and then come around and do the other one exactly the same. Try and apply that same diminishing pressure as you get near the edge, and do it and the uh, same number of times. And that's all there is to it. You should do a pretty, pretty good job. And uh, anyway, I'll try now and film it on the grindstone, but this is pretty tricky to film. So let's try it and see how it works. Well, that's pretty good. I don't think you can do uh, much better than that. So there you have it. Once you get those uh, flutes at the correct angle, the same length, uh, symmetrical, then you use them as uh, a guide to uh, successfully and accurately grind the back relief. It's not difficult. It just takes a little bit of practice. You just have to be careful. And uh, if you do it all, as I showed you in the video, the drill will come back as good as new, um, as far as the cutting tips concerned anyway. So there you have it. I hope you found that interesting. And... Uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.